welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you how to make my cream of leek and Kent pumpkin soup. <laughs> really nice for a cold winter's day, real nice and hearty this one and it's not that hard to do. First thing I've got is I've got a leek or two and I'm just going to use the white part of that leek. That uh, green part you can put into the uh, compost. Now as I pointed out there you can see there's a little bit of uh, you know, dirt inside that leek it's just the nature of the beast when it comes to this particular vegetable all right we want to get rid of all of that dirt from the inside so here's a little tip put that upside down into a jug of water just like that and let that sit for around about half an hour and all that dirt is just naturally going to fall straight out all right into a saucer it's a nice big knob of butter or two okay just start melting that down and yeah, look, use butter, don't use margarine. Butter is always better for something like this. I've cut all those leeks up nice and fine, and they're just going to go straight into our saucepan, just like that, okay? I'm not even going to wait for the uh, butter to melt 100%. So just add all of that in, just like that. And if you haven't had a cream of leek and pumpkin soup before, or you don't know what you're missing, the flavors just work together. A little bit of uh, freshly ground black pepper to taste. I mean, I'm going to add it in just a little bit early and get that pepper flavor really infused into this soup. Right, so just grind away on that. Probably going to use around about a quarter teaspoon's worth. Now I'm going to start adding in some pumpkin, which I've uh, you know, finally cut up just into nice little cubes, nice little chunks. All right, just like that. I also had a little bit of leftover from another recipe from the day before. So it doesn't matter. Put that in. It's all the uh, same vegetable. Just add all that straight in. We haven't added any liquid yet. We're just sweating everything off. Now here I've got two liters worth of chicken stock. You can make your own. There is a recipe in season 24 if you want to uh, see that. So I'm going to add in yet yeah, about two liters worth of that to start with. All right. So uh, straight into the hot saucepan. Doesn't really matter. It's just going to work a little bit good pinch of salt because the pumpkin is really going to be able to handle a good amount of salt All right just keep moving that around and we're going to start bringing this up to a little bit of heat i'm going to cook this off a little bit slow so i'm starting this recipe off at about one in the afternoon so it'll be really nice and creamy and ready by around about six o'clock that night i'm going to put the lid on let that just do its thing for a little bit come back check it every now and then as you can see we've got a nice little bit of simmerage happening in there i'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir through i'm going to come back and check it around about every 30 minutes or so just to see how it's going see if it needs a bit more heat or a little bit less heat but usually around about a nice sort of low heat for a couple of hours or so it's going to work out beautifully as you can see that pumpkin is cooked through and is mushing down just by pushing it on the back of the spoon just like that give that all a bit of a stir, stir okay and our soup is pretty much cooked believe it or not but I am still not happy with it yet okay I'm uh, pretty finicky when it comes to my soups I'm going to add in a good dose of black pepper it really needed a bit and it needed a more salt right that was a, a lot of pumpkin that I've added into that soup now it doesn't matter how much pumpkin you add in as long as you sort of cover that with the uh, chicken stock you're going to be on the right path there's no hard and fast rule for this particular recipe all right if you want to add three or four leeks in go for it it's not going to matter I'm just going to check that for seasoning pretty happy now I've turned the heat off and it's still just sort of bubbling away with residual heat right as you can see right there we don't want to uh, mix this up when it's too hot it's cooled down just enough it's still hot but I'm just going to get my stick mixer in and start blending that up and if you don't have a stick mixer one of the best investments you can buy especially for making something really nice and smooth and uh, not blowing the top off a blender so just keep mixing that through until it's really nice and creamy like that oh, and that already looks and smells amazing but we still want a little bit more creaminess to that i'm going to bring that back up to the simmer just like that okay it's so going to take you another couple of minutes or so and I'm just going to check it for seasoning, make sure I'm pretty happy with that, and check it for consistency. And I'm pretty happy with the way that is going right now. Okay, give it a quick taste. If 
you think it needs a little bit more salt or pepper, add. If it doesn't, don't. I'm going to give that another final quick blitz up through with my stick mixer and I'm going to add in as much or little cream that you like. I'm going to add in a fair bit because I want this to be a really creamy soup and uh, this soup will last Mrs. KP and I for at least two to three days. We can uh, just have as much or little of that as we like. And if we get sick of it, just cover it in the fridge and we'll heat it in the microwave. Okay, so just uh, give that a real good blitz. As you can see, our beautiful cream of leek and Kent pumpkin soup is done and ready to serve. I'm just gonna serve that up in a bowl and we'll serve that up with some nice uh, crusty bread. Better still, I'm gonna serve this up with my Guinness bread. If you don't know how to make that, that recipe is in this series as well. A little dollop of uh, sour cream is if things aren't creamy enough. It's just going to add a little bit of tartness to our beautiful soup. All right, love to see you try and make this one at home. It's not that hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Gives me confidence. Should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Please leave a comment, love reading, love responding to them. Hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video goes up. Um, don't forget to uh, share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. We are trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. In the meantime, if you want to learn how to make something really nice in winter, well, just like this one, well, you need to come and join the family. My family, hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I'll have to eat my cream of uh, leek and Kent pumpkin soup and I will catch you next time. Bye.